the next evolution in Mastercam interface takes ease of use to a whole new level. The ribbon design is very familiar to Microsoft users. It places the most popular Mastercam functions at your fingertips. Users will recognize the current Mastercam icons, but the new design presents them in a more organized display. Tools like the Quick Access Toolbar, on-screen selection controls, mini toolbar on the right-click menu, and contextual toolpath tabs make it easier than ever to do what you need. There's a lot of reasons that we're moving to the, the ribbon interface. I mean, the first one is that you know, our resellers keep telling us that they want a modern-looking um, software to be able to sell, that, that the, that's what their customers are asking for. So that's what we're trying to give them. Um, you know, these days we're not competing against just our competitors. We're competing against our customers' expectations. And, you know, their expectations are based on other software such as Microsoft. It's based on video games. It's based on, you know, all the experiences that they have with, um, with different softwares that are out there. So, so there's a lot more that we need to do to be able to not just satisfy them, but wow them. I'm, I'm really excited about the interface. I mean, it's something that, you know, I've been very passionate about and been, been talking about um, with the user experience department and, uh, you know, with the other people here at the company. And I, I'm just thrilled with the way that it's coming out. You know, it's, it's one of those things that you almost don't realize there's a change until you go back to using, you know, the older versions of Mastercam because it's so familiar. You know, you're used to using that, that type of software, that, that type of interface. And so um, it feels very natural. You know, it doesn't feel like um, you're you're seeing this big change that you have to get used to. You know, you kind of just start using it. The the words are on the screen with the icons. It's you know, it, it's very easy to find what you're looking for. So if we look back at the at the 1980s and what Mastercam was then, there were about 25 functions, and it's really easy when you have 25 functions to use menus and toolbars to kind of find what you need. Fast forward to to now. Uh, and we have over 800 functions in the program. If we were to put all those functions as icons onto the screen, there wouldn't be any room left to do your work. Plus, it would just be very confusing. There would be so many things to look at. So how do we organize all of those things? Uh, and that's really the question we started with with this project. And we felt that the Microsoft Ribbon approach was the ideal solutions for that because it's really designed to group things together, make things um, more organized and at your fingertips. You only see what you need at the time through the, the ribbon tabs. When we redesigned the icons in X8, the, the main purpose there was because we knew we were going to this ribbon interface that was going to offer larger icons. And uh, the nice thing about the ribbon interface is that as you change the size of it, it collapses. And uh, the other thing that's really nice about it is it gives you an icon as well as a text. So if you are icon driven, the icon's still there. If you are used to dropping down through menus and looking for a word, that's there as well. It's really just kind of a best of both worlds scenario. As part of the design process, an invaluable source of information is our customer feedback program. At the beginning of each new installation of Mastercam, we will prompt you and ask if you wish to enroll in the program. If you choose to join, then we will track what functionality you use throughout your session of Mastercam. At the end of your session, we'll then upload this information to our TrackerBird server. TrackerBird is a third-party software analytics solution that integrates seamlessly into Mastercam. Among the most important information that we can gather is the feature and event tracking. This allows us to see the most commonly used functions in Mastercam. We can then further break this information down into categories that allows us to design the ribbon in such a way that the most commonly used functions are in the most accessible place. So, how did we come up with a way to move 800 functions from Mastercam into this new ribbon interface? Carefully. We first looked at the Microsoft standards. Beyond that, it was up to us to come up with a design pattern. The brainstorming process for this interface was intense. It was two to three meetings a week, researching different questions in between meetings. We would bring in product owners for different areas, their input along the way, and we were constantly looking at the customer feedback program data to make sure that the options that were the most used were getting the most highlight on any given tab. Finally, what we came up with was a design pattern that moves from left to right, from simple to complex, and ends with modification options for each of the areas. Then we had to take a look at the selection options, which we knew needed to be accessible no matter 
where you were in the software. So what we came up with was controls on the graphics window that are translucent. When you move your cursor to hover over the, these controls, they wake up and become available. Our biggest challenge was the toolpaths, which are the heart and soul of Mastercam. And we went through several design iterations with this, lots of different ideas, consulting the product owners along the way. And what we came up with was galleries, which we feel are the best of both worlds, combining both the text from the menu option and a graphic representation of the toolpath motion. So users can hopefully look at that graphic, extrapolate it to their part, and see if that motion is gonna work for the type of parts they're creating. Once our product owners and our application engineers reviewed our design, we knew we were ready for formal usability tests. So far, we've conducted two usability studies and one focus group. Our participants included employees, resellers, industrial customers, as well as educational instructors and some of their students. Mastercam experience ranged from seasoned veterans to people looking at Mastercam for the very first time. So most participants connected remotely to our lab and um, were able to use a number of very simple tools to give them control of our PC and keyboard and mouse and then watch them perform as they worked through a series of tasks. Each task asked them to locate a specific Mastercam function in this new interface. And then they used thinking out loud techniques that let us hear what their thoughts were as they worked through this new design. We also collected their feedback through a series of standard surveys. Developers and designers watch the sessions in real time and they take notes and brainstorm solutions. The UX team uses all of the research and data that we collect to create a list of key issues that people experience during their sessions. And then we rate them based on severity and we brainstorm and propose recommendations to improve the design. And then this process continues over and over again until we're satisfied that we have a product that's easy to learn, easy to use, and will delight our customers. Implementing the ribbon design in Mastercam uh, requires collaboration between the UX designers and the developers. The designers created a ribbon prototype to implement their designs. The prototype contains lots of assets, uh, images, tooltips, text, and commands that need to be wired up inside Mastercam. Um, the ribbon prototype, unfortunately, doesn't have anything that can be directly used by Mastercam. It needs to be converted to a developer-friendly form. So one way to do this would be to give the developers the prototype and just have them manually do all of it. And they could do that, but uh, it takes a lot of time and it's also error prone. So let's say we did that once, that would be fine, but the design of the ribbon changes all the time through usability testing and lots of other reasons. So then every time you make a change on the design side, the developers have to do the same work. And that's really time consuming and also expensive. So we came up with a better way. Uh, we wrote an export utility that works with the ribbon prototype and what it does is it takes all of the data inside and puts it out into a form that Mastercam developers can use. This process takes a few seconds. Uh, once the files are created on disk, the developers just build. That build takes less than a minute. And the next thing you know, you've got Mastercam running with the ribbon with exactly what the designer wanted. Uh, what's nice about this is the designers can iterate, make a change, and within minutes, see that change in Mastercam itself. This is what allowed us to get the ribbon into Mastercam early in the process while the design was still changing. So one of the things that, that I really love about this ribbon interface as well is, is the process of how we got to it, um, or really how we're developing it. You know, we've, we've reorganized the company quite a bit. And so, you know, one of the main things is that with the user experience department, it's um, everything is flowing through one channel. You know, so instead of having, you know, 30 different people kind of putting their own spin on, on the interface or the wording, um, you know, we've, we've really streamlined that and so it, it makes for a more consistent, um, higher quality uh, feel of the software, um, higher quality interface, higher quality user experience. Um, and that's really exciting for us. And, and I think, again, that positions us um, for success in the future. You know, we're making a lot of decisions now that, um, you know, that really set us up for, for 5, 10, 15 years from now. Um, so that's exciting. And, and I think the other thing that, that 
uh, is great about this is the amount of user feedback that we're getting. You know, we're we're designing this, but we're not assuming that it's it's exactly what we you know what our customers are looking for. So we've spent a lot of time doing testing, um, you know, making sure that um, you know that our assumptions are correct and that that users are going to accept this um, and embrace the new technology and, and the new look and feel of Mastercam. So far, we've we've been pretty on point, and I think customers are getting very excited about seeing this new um, new version of Mastercam.